The next question says arrange the following actions in the proper sequence for creating a 3D view and rendering it. Okay, so uh, the proper sequence would be first to click on the 3D view tool, which is right here. Uh, several different options. You can do a default 3D view or a camera view for this um, uh, operation. We're just going to click on the default. Okay, so that would be the first action. The second action would be position the view to get the most attractive angle, like so. Uh, click on Show Rendering Dialog, which is down at the bottom. Right there, a little tea kettle with a light bulb. Uh, select the desired quality level, and these are just going in the order that they appear. Although you can go in different orders for the test, you will go in this order. So the quality would be set here. You have several options. Um, next is select the output settings. Okay, so I would select settings for screen or printer, and printer, I, I can change the uh, resolution. Um, after that is select the lighting settings. So this is the lighting section. I can choose from these many different options for exterior and interior light. Um, and of course, sun settings, and that actually goes into much more detail. Um, after that, we want to set the background settings. And there are several different options here. Sky few clouds is a decent one. And let's see, and then it says to click the render button, which is right here. I'm going to click that. Okay, now what you'll see is it'll take a few minutes to render. So I will pause. Oops, okay, I will pause. I thought it was done there. And uh, come back, and it is done. Okay, pretty simple picture probably. All right, so now once the uh, render is complete, I can adjust the exposure level. And I can make it brighter or darker. Okay, that's a little too bright. Okay, and you can see there it's darker. And of course you have highlight, shadow, saturation, and white point. Uh, next is save to project. Okay, so I want to save it to project. And of course I want to give it an interesting name. But that's not a step that's included. So save to project is the last step. 